All right, so you've been shooting real estate for a while and all of a sudden you got a big gig. A builder wants you to shoot their model homes. You're all excited, what's involved? Let me take you behind the scenes and show you what I do when I'm shooting these builder homes. Let's go. All right, so one of the key aspects when you're doing interior design shoots for a builder or for a designer is the equipment. Now, I'm using the 24 tilt shift lens. That allows me to adjust my composition up and down, left and right, without really having to move the camera. Obviously, as you can see, we kind of get interesting placements when we're putting the camera for the shot. Um, we also use a transmitter with soft boxes and lights in all different places. And I tether the, everything off of my iPad because I like to see what's happening um, as I'm going around moving lighting, I can see it automatically. Some people like using their laptop and that's totally fine. I personally like using the iPad. So one of the reasons why I love using the new iPad is because of number one, the quality of the clarity of the image that comes across through this glass. It's fantastic. The other part obviously is it's a lot lighter. It's a lot less cumbersome to set up a laptop and move it around. Um, and sometimes you get into some interesting places with the camera and it kind of gets difficult. So with the iPad, I can walk around, flash certain areas, see it automatically on my iPad and then just continue going on. So personally, I love using the iPad, but it's only up to you what you want to do. So here's a perfect example of why I love using the iPad. I got that camera all the way back in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and start shooting. So as you can see, sometimes you have to actually get creative. Take the camera off the tripod, um, and if you have like a mini tripod, you could use that. I forgot to bring it, to be honest with you, but I have this set up right now. It's totally level. Um, I got it balanced. I can see what's happening again, and I can just go ahead and fire away. The cool part about hand-holding your flash is it lets you get into really awkward places. Trigger it with the iPad and then get away with it. All right guys, so when I get into houses like this and they are totally done up, it just pumps my blood up. And I'm so excited to see some of these shots just coming out of the iPad right now that are raw. I haven't edited anything. Obviously we lit everything up, but they're looking fantastic. Let me show you a few of these raw bracketed shots unedited just to show you where we're at right now. All right, so most of you are probably wondering why do I have the light fixtures off? And that's strictly because I wanna be able to have complete, even balanced lighting without having to fight and battle and editing and post to try to get all the colors off the walls that is being casted from these yellow lights. Also, it's a very gloomy blue day kind of outside. When I say blue, when it's very cloudy and snow in winter time, you get a lot of that blue light that comes in through the windows. So by having this yellow light, having the outside light, you're gonna be fighting a lot. So it's easier just to shut everything off. Use our flashes, which are all daylight balanced and everything will look perfect. All the colors will look like the way they're supposed to. So that's why what I suggest is when you're shooting interior design work, usually you're gonna shoot with the lights off. Now, if a light fixture company is hiring you to do the work, obviously you're gonna to have to have them on. So what you do is you shoot everything with all the lights off, then you just turn the lights on and you Photoshop just the light itself. All right, so one of the powerful things about a tilt shift lens is it allows you to really go up, down, sideways without moving the camera, getting a lot lower to the ground or a lot higher to the light fixtures. And it really just gives you that control of how you wanna frame your shot. Highly, highly recommend it for doing interior design work. Honestly, it's probably my best and most favorite lens. Um, the 17 mil tilt shift is also very, very popular, but I personally like the 24. All right guys, so that's a wrap. It's 4.30. We have just some little things that we're gonna finish up for our social media marketing. 
Um, but you know, it's one of those things that interior design photo shoots are more about quality versus quantity, which is what real estate's all about. So you wanna make sure you take your time, really dive into understanding your camera, your gear, your flash, and all that stuff, and then really, really take the time to create some awesome portfolio work for yourself. This is what will lead you into getting some more work. All the best guys, as always, please stay safe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Take care. All right, so you didn't actually think I was gonna end this video without showing you a few sample photos. So check them out. If you guys would like any more detailed tips on how to edit actual interior design shoots, let me know down in the comments below and like this video. All the best guys, take care.